drop a like and sub in the next five seconds and this will be your Fortnite account. If you don't, this will be your account. Fortnite Season 4 is finally here. We've gotten the reveal of everything that will be making its way into the brand new season. But look at each and every single one of the Battle Pass skins, brand new mythic items, and much, much more that we are going to be going over here in today's video. So trust me, you want to make sure you're staying tuned to the very end of it. But in case any of you guys are new, we do get five new and all subscribers every single day inside of the brand new item shop. So if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on and also drop a comment down below with your epic games id if you have been picking up the brand new seasons battle pass do consider using my support creator code ytra as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile hashtag ad Fortnite Season 4 is finally here, which we obviously have the new name for it, which is going to be called Last Resort. We can obviously see from the brand new trailer, we can see everything that will be making its way into the brand new season, especially when it does come to the storyline. We can see one of the brand new POIs, as we've actually gotten a list of all the new locations that we will be able to explore in Season 4, as we're going to be getting a new POI called Sanguine Sweets, Relentless Retreat, and also Eclipse the State, which are going to be three brand new locations we will be able to see in Season 4. Four, we can actually see the brand new seasons tier 100 skin which is actually being called Kato Thorn. It does actually have a time machine as you can obviously see it does say March 25th 2020 which is actually the release date of the Oro skin while he actually has the skull in his hand. Confirming that Kato Thorn is this brand new collector who we've obviously known about for quite a while now. It most likely is going to be a super big part of the storyline considering even at the very end of the trailer we can actually see one of his other edit styles which will actually turn him into a a vampire just definitely pretty cool consider we're obviously coming into that halloween season so it obviously would fit perfectly with this brand new season expect to see him obviously it be around this brand new poi which is looking very similar to the agency from chapter 2 season 2 along with all brand new mythic items that we could actually see in the trailer itself such as the return of midas's drum gun and much much more we've also had a look at some of the other skins as well which i have to say are definitely super sick such as the addition of the brand new fish stick skin we have finally got a name for as it's now being confirmed that his name is actually going to be fish thick you can see him use one of the brand new weapons that we will be able to use in season four which is actually being called the ram rocket launcher it looks like it's going to be super fun especially as we do know we're going to be getting the return of the armored walls item back in the game so obviously this will be able to destroy that pretty easily well it's also being confirmed that we will be seeing ahsoka tano inside of the next season's battle pass as we can obviously see from the battle pass image that was shown to us he most likely will be unlockable in the battle pass straight from the get-go as soon as the new season officially is live and as how we've just had the release of her brand new tv show on disney plus this definitely would make sense we would expect her to get her very own mythic items inside of the brand new season as well potentially being a dual wielded lightsaber just like she does have in the tv show definitely think would be pretty cool as it's obviously going to work very differently compared to the original lightsabers that we've had in the game for the past few years now we will have to wait and see exactly what the cosmetics will be for the brand new Ahsoka Tano skin, but I definitely do think it's pretty cool nonetheless, as it is another Star Wars character to add to our collection. Obviously, for one of the other collaboration skins, we do know we have Cappy Lame, who is obviously one of the world's biggest TikTokers. From the trailer itself, we can see that he's actually going to have a brand new emote, which more or less is going to be his trademark thing that he does with his hands. I have to say, the skin definitely looks pretty cool, and I would not be surprised if this ended up being the secret skin for Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4. But we may have to wait a little bit of time before we will be able to use this, but it definitely should be worth the wait as we most likely will have to wait roughly a month or two. Be sure to leave your thoughts on that down in the comments as obviously we're going to be getting two brand new collaboration skins inside of the brand new season's battle pass. Also did think it was worth mentioning that if you do actually take a look at the trailer, you can see that inside one of the Kato Thorn cells, you can actually see Bunker Jonesy is actually being held captive. Which obviously the last time we did see him was all the way back in chapter one season nine so we'll have to see exactly what happens with this considering it could even be linked to the storyline somehow because we do know that fortnite the last resort is actually going to be the final season we do get in chapter four before we do get the release of fortnite chapter five in november of 2023 we expect some big storyline things to happen here inside of the new season, especially with the brand new time machine that's going to be in the Kato Thorns mansion. This most likely will be involved in everything that will happen in the season 4 live event, as we're more or less going to be getting one at the very end of season 4. 
But obviously, we've had the rest of the entire battle pass revealed to us already, especially with the names of all of the skins. As we do know, we're going to be getting this character right here, who is being called May. Looks pretty cool, as you obviously can see. It is an original Fortnite skin that obviously has that anime design to them. And I have to say, this definitely does look pretty cool, as we also did see her in the trailer itself. And then we also do have the brand new Antonia skin, which you obviously we did actually see from one of the teaser images. It's a completely different edit style, as obviously we actually had a look at her on an Epic Games survey as well in the past, so she most likely will have a lot of customization available to her. So I do have to say, this skin definitely looks pretty cool. And personally, one of my favorite skins, we do actually have this character right here, who is being called Nolan Chance. It was a big part of the trailer itself as well, and it looks like he's also having an edit style that's actually going to be this character right here, who we'd also had on one of the teasers. I am a big fan of this skin, I can't wait to be able to unlock it when we do move into the brand new season of Fortnite. And finally, we do also have the Piper Pace, which does seem to be a brand new pizza delivery skin, as you can see right here, and it looks like her pickaxe is actually going to be the steering wheel right here. It's definitely pretty interesting, and the skin definitely does look pretty cool altogether, and I can't wait to also be able to unlock this skin. Overall, I do think the brand new season looks pretty cool, and the battle pass is definitely one of my favorites out of all of the battle passes we've gotten over Chapter 4. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about it, as I definitely think this one is a 10 out of 10. If you know about other features that will also be making its way into the brand new season, such as the brand new Nitro Fang vehicle, we can actually see that from the key art for the new season, and this is actually said to have a lot of armor on it, so I'm guessing this is going to be one of the stronger vehicles in the new season. We'll have to wait and see exactly what happens with that when the new season obviously goes live in just a few short hours. As I said, it looks like the new season is going to be very similar to what we did see in Chapter 2 Season 2 when we had Midas and the Agency. Who knows, Midas may even return to the storyline here in the brand new season, as we do know we're actually working along with Dr. Sloan, thanks to all of the quests that we've already gotten here in Season 3. As it is looking like the Kato Thorns brand new POI is actually going to be located over at the Citadel. As we do know that the Kato Thorn is going to be the tier 100, and obviously he's going to have this edit style as we can obviously see from the battle pass image. Definitely can't expect him to have a crazy mythic item once we actually do eliminate him on the map as he's obviously going to be a boss. This is going to be super sick when it does come to the Fort Nightmares 2023 update which we should be getting in roughly a month and a half. I also expect Agent Jones to make his return to the storyline as well, as we are also set to see the arrival of the legend, who we do know is Agent Jones with his very own 7 armor. This should be a great way to kick off Fortnite Chapter 5 storyline, considering we haven't seen the 7 in an entire chapter now. If you guys are excited for the release of the brand new season of Fortnite, be sure to let me know down in the comments, as I definitely do think this is going to be the best season that we've gotten in Chapter 4 to date. But unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video, and if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments, along with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.